In this video, I am going to show you the connections from mixer with the use of Beam 800 condenser microphone plus the V8 sound card connected to a MacBook with the use of the Audacity to record a song. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, and now let's start the connections. First, let's connect to this uh, condenser microphone. So since we are going to be using a mixer, so we will need this XLR cable. So of course, so one end we will connect to here, and then the other end we will connect to one port of the microphone here. So let's use the, this one here. Okay, and of course I will be using a headset, and uh, you can use a headphone if you want. I am going to connect the headset to uh, earphone and then um, I will connect this next cord here. So this is an RCA to 3.5 mm uh, cable. So again RCA and I'm going to connect this one over here, the one that says REC out. So again I'm going to connect it over there, the one that says REC out. Okay, so simply white to white and red to red. And the other end, so the one that has two lines, I am going to connect it to the one that says condenser microphone on here. And this cord here, so this is the uh, USB to micro USB cord. So this comes normally when you purchase a V8 uh, sound card. So one cord here, so uh, one cord here I'm going to connect to the one that says charging. So that's where the micro USB go. And then the other end I'm going to connect to the uh, USB port of this uh, MacBook. So, okay, so it's over here. Okay, there it is. And uh, by the way, what I will do is I am going to record this one also on a, a separate uh, handset or gadget or phone so that I can share to you also the audio that I am hearing. So when I'm going to edit this video, I'm going to sync them so you can uh, we both hear the audio that I'm hearing from the headset. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here, another micro USB to 3.5 mm. I'm going to connect this one to either Live 1 or Live 2. Okay, I'm just going to connect it to Live 1. And then I'm going to connect uh, this one to the phone that I'm going to use for recording. So this phone is the one I'm going to use. And since it doesn't have headphone jack, so I'll, I'll need this lightning adapter. So I'm just going to connect it right there. Again, uh, this device uh, is just uh, for myself uh, to record also what I am doing and so that I can share to you also whatever I am hearing using uh, this uh, headset or a headphone. And now uh, I'm going to turn on this mixer and also this uh, V8 uh, sound card. And let me just show you quickly for my settings on here. So gain is just uh, maybe at 10 o'clock and, and this one is just at 12 o'clock. And pretty much everything here is, is uh, at 12 o'clock. And in fact, maybe I'm just gonna put it at 12 or maybe at one o'clock. And uh, the volume is maybe at 10 o'clock also. And so again, for the uh, uh, effects of your vocals it's up to you to adjust whatever is your preferred uh, preferred vocals and plus because we are connecting this v8 sound card you can also add some more reverb on here so from the echo over here if you want more echo then turn it to, to the right and uh, for the treble so it's up to you if you want treble so maybe let's just put a little bit of treble maybe at 10 o'clock and then the bass if you want to uh, or more bass then it's up to you and for the record all the time make sure this is on high so the record volume knob from this v8 sound card make sure it, oh, it's always on high so from here we can now open audacity so it's right there let's just open that okay and let's hit okay Okay, so it's there right away. It reads the V8 sound card. So the name for that is MV Silicon V1 USB Audio. And let's also select uh, the, the speaker as uh, this one. So MV Silicon V1 USB Audio as well. So that we will monitor the audio from here, from the V8 uh, sound card. 
And now let me show you first the easiest way to record a song by using one track only. So which means the background music and your vocals are in one track. So to do that, let's open a track over here. So while Audacity is open and add new and select uh, case track, add new, select stereo track. So this is the one we will be uh, recording both the, the background music plus your vocals. And we will be using uh, the YouTube song, a karaoke song or from YouTube. So let's just uh, open a YouTube karaoke song. Okay, there it is. So let's say, for example, this is the song we will be using. And uh, just to give you a heads up, because we will be using uh, this uh, karaoke song from YouTube, make sure to go to settings and then settings of this MacBook and then open sound. And from here, the output, make sure the output is set to, is set to this V8 sound card, which is called the MV Silicon B1 USB uh, audio, so that we can hear that uh, instrument from this headset. Okay, so now that is selected, let's uh, get out from there. Okay, there it is. Okay, and uh, if you want to test first before you start, of course, you can test how loud is your is your vocals. So let's say, for example, I'm going I'm going to put on now this uh, headset so I can hear. Okay, so and I'm gonna going to turn the camera now from here so that I can record whatever I'm doing. Okay, so I'm I started recording over there. Okay, so now I'm testing first the. the uh, the audio of my vocals, how loud it is. Okay, so again, uh, it's up to you to play around uh, whatever is your preferred vocals. As to my settings on here, I just have to make sure the music is up because this is the background music volume you can control from here or uh, from this laptop. So wherever is your like volume from here, so that's where you can control. You can also uh, control your volume from here. Okay, so now uh, for the instrument or background music from YouTube, you can also test it first, how loud it is. So let's say, for example, we're going to play it. Okay, so again, if you want it louder, you can turn it up from here. You can turn the volume up from here or lower it. So something like that. And for the monitor, you can control, of course, the one you're hearing is from here. If you want it louder, then it's like that. But uh, maybe I will not going to be... Uh, turning it up to the max. Okay, so let's uh, let's pause it first. Maybe let's move it there. Okay, and uh, now for the uh, reverb, if you do not want lots of reverb, so you can just uh, turn the, your echo down. So in this setting, I just turn my reverb at uh, 10 o'clock. Anyway, there is reverb or already I showed you earlier my settings on the mixer. So even if this is at zero, there should be a little bit of reverb already because that is from the, uh, from the mixer. But again, uh, we'll just add a little bit more from this V8 uh, sound card, so it should sound like that. Okay, so now, um, if you want to uh, make your screen here uh, more bigger so you can read the lyrics, it's up to you. Just drag this one to the left to make it big, bigger, so something like that. But again, whatever you prefer. Okay, so let's say we're good at this one and let's now uh, try to uh, record a short uh, portion of this song. Okay, so let's now uh, hit record from there. And let's play this instrument or background music from here. I sold my soul, you bought it back for me and held me and gave me dignity Somehow you needed me Okay, so let's stop this uh, one and then let's uh, pause also over here. Okay, now let's check the uh, output. And now, if you want to listen to the recorded uh, song, then just play it over here. Or you can click anywhere there and then it uh, shows you the... Or you can listen to the recorded uh, song okay, again. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, something like that. And uh, now, if you want, uh, for example, you want to listen the recorded audio from to this uh, computer or laptop. So what you do is go to the speaker right there, select speaker, and then select built-in output so that when you play this, uh, this recorded song, the speaker will come out from this uh, MacBook. And then now if we're going to play it. There you go. So as you can see, the uh, speaker or the audio came out from this uh, MacBook because we changed this speaker right there to the built-in speaker of this uh, MacBook. Okay, so now, um, just, uh, just to give you a heads up, I am not really a pro on editing songs uh, using Audacity. I only know pretty basic. So let's say, for example, as you notice, the wave here is very is not that big. So if you want to make it bigger, so which means the audio will become more louder. So what you do is highlight this one and go to Effect right there, and then Amplify. So, so something like that, and then hit OK. And then there it is. So if you play this one again, your audio will be louder. Okay, so let's play it again. Okay, so something like that. And now if you want more edits uh, to, your, to your song, feel free to do it. There are lots of options here to pick if you want more edits for from here so of course there are lots of youtube videos on how to edit uh, your song then for sure feel free to to uh, search for them okay so now for example you're good you're happy of what you recorded so what you do is i'm just going to minimize this one first so what you do is just go to file and hit export so export as mp3 and then you can just put the title. I'm just going to put trial. So something like that. And you should know wherever it's going to go. So it's going to go to desktop. So it's easy to find. And then hit save. It's up to you if you want to fill out this, uh, this information on here. Okay, so just hit OK from there. And it's now on here. So if you want to listen to it, so if we're going to play it, it should be right here. Okay, let's just uh, turn this up. You will not hear it from here yet because if you remember on the sound, on the settings here, we selected our sounds to go to here. So now we have to change that as well. So let's change it to internal speaker. Okay, there it is. Okay, so let's play it again. So this one is this one playing right now. So let's, uh, let's play it again. We can hear it now from this uh, laptop. Okay, let's just move it here. There you go. So as you can see, it did record. So let's say, for example, this is now the track or the, the audio or the song that you recorded. So now it's up to you how are you are going to use it uh, on like combining it of the the this audio plus the video that you uh, recorded. Let's say, for example, you're going to sync this uh, audio plus the video you made from here. Then it's now a song covers. But but again, it's it's a different process on that, and you can look them up. There are different ways of doing that. As I mentioned earlier, this is the quickest way in recording a song using Audacity with the use of Mixer and V8 uh, sound card. And in this setup, in my opinion, uh, your edits is limited because whenever you edit your vocals, it also edits your background music. Let's say, for example, if you want to add more reverb or echo to your vocals, it also add reverb or echo to your background music, which is not necessary. But again, if this is the the like the way that you wanted to record your song then for sure it is a possible anyway i'm hoping to uh, upload or make another video uh, next time so that is a little bit more complicated but the output would be better and uh, and you will have more control to edit your vocals and the background music i hope you can check that out once it's uh, uploaded mm -hmm.
And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And uh, if you want more of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.